Hey guys, Rina from Wastopa Abruzzo, okay, from Villa Magna. Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm shooting a couple of videos here in Villa Magna, so hopefully you like it. It's a, it's a nice town, around 2,000 uh, people living here, very close to popular towns like, uh, of course, Chieti, it's just eight kilometers, uh, Francavilla for the sea, Guardia Grele, uh, Bucchianico, Miglianico, whole uh, lovely area, uh, conveniently location uh, nearby the uh, A14, which is the one of the major highway uh, we have here in Italy. Uh, everything you need in the town, uh, shops, pharmacists. The town is also popular for wine, and uh, you will immediately see when I flip the camera, uh, but uh, just wait a, a bit. And guys, as usual, if you're uh, liking this sort of videos, please uh, subscribe to the channel because it tremendously helps uh, me for the growth and getting you more properties. Um, so guys, uh, let's flip the camera so I can show you a little bit more. So straight in front of the house, do not worry, this is not an industrial complex, that's what uh, we call uh, the cantina. This is the cantina sociale, basically wine, wine, wine and more wine. If you've been following the channel, 90% of the properties I had, it's um, uh, mostly olive oil, solid trees. Instead, this area of uh, Miglianico Villa Magna is more popular for the wine, so you can look for it. Uh, for example, we have the Monte Pulciano d'Abruzzo, which is uh, uh, very, very popular. And uh, yes, this is the road, this is just a side road access. O hopefully the police doesn't stop me, because who is this weird guy with filming? Yeah, as usual, they wanted to arrest me, they didn't. Hanno fermato, ha detto, che stai facendo? Video. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They didn't know me. Anyways, guys, they are doing some uh, works here um, on the road because this bit, uh, like pinkish line that you see, this is the fiber. Uh, so fiber to the home. They are bringing everywhere in Italy. So yeah, at least you will have fast internet, like one gigabit. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's start from here first. This is like a separate area of the house. It's just downstairs, the main, uh, the main house is on top. This is, we are downstairs here. Uh, the house is in uh, very good condition, I will say, even though it's from the 80s. You can, you can tell people that uh, lived here, they, they had the good care uh, of the house. So. You can technically rent this below apartment because there's everything separated in a small outside area. And uh, here you have uh, the garage for space for one car and uh, yeah, bikes, uh, motorbikes. This is like curtains. Yeah curtains in the garage look at this this is what we call in Italy a crocco <laughs> I will find a way to translate it it's uh, like a, a, an ingenious way to to do things in a way the definition it's not even a word you learn you learn as you go with me guys Italian courses for free uh, this is uh, where they did like a sort of a tavern uh, maybe you can have a nicer window here, just if you want to rent it, maybe it's uh, more interesting to have a better uh, entrance, but space that you could technically rent out, so a uh, pretty large area here, uh, living room space, uh, here they installed a camera, uh, Sorry, here they installed here they installed the bedroom, bedroom space. So uh, they they had the hole there for more light to to enter. Yeah, of course, makes sense. 
new radiator so this tells me that it was an afterthought uh, it wasn't uh, originally planned as it is and uh, yeah bathroom uh, probably to be to be renovated a little bit uh, if uh, again if you plan to rent it uh, uh, maybe need to make it a little bit nicer but overall it's good even this kitchen here of course old kitchen but uh, to be replaced uh, or and uh, here you have also the fireplace or maybe guys use it as your own space like party tavern or yeah just uh, if you're having dinner outside you know this can be a secondary kitchen uh, this is just a single bedroom yeah not sold about this space definitely not but you can use it any way you want you know it's there so uh, I was saying in Italy especially many many people have the secondary kitchen that uh, you know leads outside so you can uh, you can preserve your one your better one or yeah it's just more convenient to have something close to uh, to use when you're preparing for outside dining and now we can go upstairs which you access from here see see like you hey guys instead here as you go to the main building you have this other area here which you can use again small table uh, it's fine admittedly not the best view on the cantina but you will definitely have uh, wine vibes uh, but yeah you can see from there uh, you know you have more of a open open view uh, anyway so we can go here so some stairs keep you young doing this this stair all days thankfully the sun is coming out oh this didn't film it uh, outside uh, when I was downstairs but basically you access from these stairs and you have this massive massive terrace that you can also use so do not even bother maybe with the other space just turn this into your outside uh, uh, preferred space of course there's a dog there not liking my presence today everyone hates me and here they have uh, this was very popular in the 80s uh, this is like outside the areas probably an afterthought I'm not sure this was how it was originally intended to be with those windows I think maybe they were installed after because I mean it, it makes sense you know when uh, even when it's winter when you have the Sun this gets uh, decently a decent temperature so a space that you can use even on the winter uh, mostly as you can see here they had the, uh, the anger for the clothes but yeah let's go inside to show you a little bit of this house so on the left you have this uh, the kitchen fireplace in here it's a boo protected with wood strange I haven't seen it very often like like the triangular element this is basically those are the stairs that we will go after uh, on top we have like a cabin mountain cabin like uh, rooms so uh, it was very very nice to see you will see in a, in a bit yeah but a good kitchen good size kitchen I think this seems to be bespoke uh, yeah this is wood uh, yeah now this will cost a fortune if you do it today oh. on the right classic large massive living room uh, again something that uh, it's not easy to find now uh, those styles yeah you can see probably they are not uh, they have not as much as character are those that you find in some old houses uh, because let's be honest this is not an old house it's a 
Yeah, average old house. Here on the left, we have one of the main bedrooms. And I'm seeing more and more beds, like, it's massive, like, you have uh, three, technically, three beds, uh, three spots downstairs where we were. Here you have two bedrooms, on top you have another bedroom, so, massive party house, I think, if you want. You have a balcony, which uh, goes around the house. And you know what we can do? Just need to re-enter from here. And join another room. And again, three, three spaces for sleep. How many people were living here? I don't know. Like, so many beds. And... Uh, Huge bathroom, uh, yeah, and here, yeah, the tiles from the past. This, will, of course, will never fly now, but uh, it was very popular back in the days. And look at this scale, guys. It says, il peso vincente, this is uh, your winning weight, hopefully, I don't know. go upstairs upstairs guys it's a whole different world I loved it before it's like a different house so it's, uh, it's very strange so wooden panel everywhere it seems like I was mentioning mountain cabin look at it and of course you have a mattress here I have to ask I have to ask because how many mattress and beds were here it's crazy this guy this house can be like i don't know can have multiple purposes uh the height is fine i'm i am 185 centimeters not sure how much is in feet but uh, it's uh, totally fine I can stand uh, in most of the space not everywhere but in most of the space and uh, yeah other bedroom here look at this light ceiling light guys well, and, uh, and we can walk back to the entrance guys let me know what you think I love going around and find those places because it uh, doesn't look 100% Italian uh, this house I don't know like it's uh, rare to, to find this combination this house is interesting good outside space uh, like uh, multiple uh, floors uh, you can do various sort of things let me know what you think and see you in next videos